With the global economy teetering and some warning of a worldwide recession, the seven leaders gathering here may not look it, but they're almost certainly worried. The host, Emmanuel Macron, and the US President Donald Trump seemed relaxed as they sat down on the terrace for lunch. But in addition to the China-US trade dispute currently rattling stock markets, they have their own problems. A new French tax will target US tech giants, and Trump has threatened to retaliate, taxing French wine imports to the US. This, though, would immediately receive an EU response, according to the president of the European Council. I will protect French wine with a, you know, a genuine determination for many reasons. Uh, and of course, the EU stands by France. If the US imposes tariffs on France, the EU will respond in kind. President Tusk is about to finish five years in one of the EU's top two jobs, a term dominated by one issue, one that could also cause economic problems across the continent, Brexit. Tusk warned the new British Prime Minister he could go down in history as Mr No Deal. As he landed, Boris Johnson didn't respond directly, but he did focus on his country's future trading prospects. The state of global trade, I'm very worried about the way it's going, the growth of uh, protectionism, of tariffs that we're seeing. The UK thrives mightily on being an open, outward-looking, free-trading nation. That's what we're going to be promoting because I think it's good for the world. Trade wars, talk of recession, Brexit, it's all a very depressing economic picture. The one thing that could bolster the markets would be unity coming out of this G7 summit. But don't expect that. The French presidency of the G7 has already said it's not even seeking a final communique. This will be a meeting with discussion, but very unlikely to have any decisions. James Bay's Al Jazeera, Biritz.